my brothers and sisters in Christ. Today we are celebrating, as I said before, the World Day of the Sick. It was a celebration that was established, as we probably know, by St. John Paul II, who himself was a beautiful witness to the redemptive power of sickness and suffering that is united with the cross of Christ. And St. John Paul wanted to associate this celebration with our Blessed Mother Mary, especially in uh, uh, the devotion to Mary as Our Lady of Lourdes. Uh, remembering those apparitions of our Blessed Mother in France, um, and as we all know, since that time, uh, Lourdes has become a place of pilgrimage for the sick and a place where many have experienced miracles of redemption and healing. So today, we especially um, go to the intercession of Mary, our Blessed Mother. We come confident in her maternal protection. We ask her intercession for all those who are suffering in body, mind, spirit, or soul, those who are sick, and those who are disabled, those facing any disease, and those facing terminal illnesses. But we also pray for all those who assume the beautiful responsibility of taking care for their own loved ones, and for the ones who work in the ministry of care and service to the sick and the elderly. Nos reunimos esta mañana para esta es la Jornada Mundial del Enfermo y acudimos especialmente a la intercesión de Nuestra Madre Santísima en su advocación de Nuestra Señora de Lourdes. El Papa San Juan Pablo II quería que celebráramos este día especialmente acudiendo a la intercesión de Nuestra Señora de Lourdes. Rezamos por todos los enfermos y por también por todos los que uh, cuidan de los enfermos y de los ancianos. We invoke Mary today to help us because we know that she has a mother's concern for us and she always pays attention to her children's needs. It is a beautiful truth that wherever we are, the mother of Jesus is there for us. As we heard today in the gospel, she knew when the wine for the wedding ran short. Mary also knows when we have run out of wine, when our health is failing, when we are suffering, and when we are feeling burdened with cares and weighed down with troubles. And Mary, our Blessed Mother, brings our troubles and needs to Jesus, just as we hear in today's Gospel. As we hear, Mary tells Jesus, they have no wine. Nuestra Madre Santísima siempre está pendiente de nosotros y se ocupa de nuestras necesidades, especialmente cuando estamos enfermos o cuando tenemos alguna preocupación. Y lleva todas esas preocupaciones hasta Jesús. So, my brothers and sisters, God loves us. And uh, Mary, our Blessed Mother, is um, um, the loving face of God. Mary shows us the face of God's love in every circumstance in our lives. Mary goes with us as our mother. We are her beloved children. And she brings our needs to the attention of Jesus and urges him to help us. Mary is always referring us to Jesus, pointing to Jesus as the answer to our every question and need. Just as we hear in today's passage of the Gospel, she tells the servants at the wedding 
do whatever he tells you. Those words are for each one of us. Son palabras que la Virgen nos, nos dice a cada uno de nosotros. Hagan lo que Él les diga. Mary is calling us to turn to Jesus in our weaknesses and burdens, in our time of trouble. She's telling us to seek the answers in Him. Because as we know, Jesus is perfect God and perfect man. Jesus wept with human tears, and his heart was moved with compassion for the sick, the diseased, and the dying. And then in his own suffering on the cross, Jesus entered into our pain and suffering, and he showed us that we will never be alone when we suffer. Jesús, con su naturaleza humana, pasó lo mismo que nosotros pasamos. Y con su muerte en la cruz, nos ha dicho, no solo con palabras, sino con su propia vida, que siempre estará con nosotros cuando sufrimos. But also, Jesus wants us to be his instruments to be the sign of his presence in the world. Jesus speaks to those who are sick and those who are healthy. He's calling all of us to be his instruments, to be the sign of his presence in the world. Those who are suffering and sick have a very important role to play in God's plan of redemption because they can offer their sufferings and sorrows for others and participate in the work of redemption for the salvation of the world. They can join their sufferings to Christ's sufferings on the cross. Todos, especialmente los que están enfermos, podemos unir nuestros sufrimientos a la cruz de Jesús y participar en la redención de la humanidad. And for those in good health, Jesus is calling us to reach out to those who suffer. And this has become an important Christian duty that we have in this moment in our society. It's such an important and beautiful ministry to go out of ourselves and especially take care of those in need, especially the ones who are sick. So, today, as we gather, as the family of God in the Archdiocese of Los Angeles, let us, let us ask our Blessed Mother, health to the sick, to bring healing and peace to all those who are sick, and may she help them to bear their sufferings with Christ. Le pedimos a Nuestra Madre Santísima, que especialmente acompaña a los enfermos, ella que es salud de los enfermos. Y que nos ayude, nos ayude a todos los que están enfermos a unir sus sufrimientos a los de Jesús. And let us ask our Blessed Mother to inspire the healthy and strong to stand with the sick and the weak. También le pedimos que nos ayude a todos a cuidar de los enfermos y de los más necesitados. May she help us to serve our suffering neighbors with tenderness and affection. And through our acts of love, may we show those who are sick the nearness and love of God. Que a través de nosotros los enfermos encuentren, sientan, vean el amor de Dios por cada uno de ellos. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.